guys, welcome back to my channel. So for my first Halloween tutorial, I wanted to do like this masquerade mask. And I think this is really fun because you could dress it up with any outfit. And also you could kind of make the mask as detailed as you want or as simple as you want. I also like kind of went through all my accessories at the end of the video. But you can see that I'm wearing like this kind of crazy bird. So also I do have a few other ideas for Halloween. But if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And I will definitely check them out. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you'd like to see how to get this look then please keep watching. All right, so I hope you guys don't mind. My mirror is right here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply my foundation. And of course, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I'm just gonna apply that with my Real Techniques sponge. And then for around my eyes, I'm gonna use my Garnier Concealer. You guys know that I really like this because it's nice and thin and it doesn't really crease up as much as most concealers. Now to set everything, I'm going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and I'm gonna go ahead and dab this on my face, and then also set the concealer with it. All right, as much as I don't want to, I'm skipping eyebrows because I really don't want them too defined. I'm gonna kind of cover them up so I'm moving on to eyeshadow. You could totally skip this step or you could do something like really smoky or glittery or even just have like a winged eyeliner. I'm just going to go in with like a crease color and then a lid color and that's pretty much it. So I'm going in with the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to take this brown right here and I'm going to place that in my crease. And this is really just for a little bit of definition just so that I have something on my eyes. Then for the lid, I'm going to take this color right here, and it's kind of like a bronzy color. And I'm pretty much going to leave it like this. I'm just going to go back in with a fluffy brush and try to blend everything. And I'm not going to add a highlight because I want it to look kind of smoky. And for the lash line, I'm going to take this brown right here. It's just like a matte kind of milk chocolate reddish brown. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to the lash line just so I have something there. And I'm going to bring it all the way in. And then to blend that, I'm going to go back in with that light brown shade that we used for the transition. I'm going to go ahead and add this shimmery champagne color just on the inner corner because it's looking a little dark, which is what I wanted, but I think I need a little bit of brightness. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the inner corner just a little bit because I do want it super smoky, but I think just a little bit would look really nice. Yeah, it's really subtle, but I like the way that looks. Okay, for mascara, I'm going in with this Revlon Volume Plus Length Magnified Mascara. I've never used this, and this is my first time actually opening it. So I'm going to apply some mascara to my top lashes, and of course, the bottom lashes as well. Ooh, I really like the wand. For lashes, I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'm probably going to go ahead and do it off camera because I need to be like this close to the mirror. So, I'll be right back. All right, now for the mask, I'm gonna go ahead and use a gel eyeliner. You can use an eyeliner pen or a liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Gel Liner. So for the mask, you could go as detailed as you would like to, or you could go as simple. The design that I have, I think anyone can do it. I think it's pretty easy. I'm gonna start from my nose, and then I'm gonna draw a line up and under my eyebrow, and then I'm gonna go ahead and curve it a little bit on the outside by the temple and just take your time with this and do as best as you can. And then you wanna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side as best as you can. Now I'm gonna go back to where we started and I'm gonna go up and then kind of under like where your eye socket is and kind of like where the bags of your eyes are if you ever get bags and bring it up to connect to the temple. And it's totally okay if you have some lines thicker than others, it's totally fine. But just try to kind of have it close to the same size. All right, so now I'm gonna draw another line and I'm going from kind of where I started on the nose and up over my eyebrow this time. So now I'm gonna draw little lines and kind of cover up my eyebrows. And then for the rest of everything, I'm just kind of gonna do like swirly designs and just kind of like loopy circles and stuff like that. So I'll probably just let you guys watch because I think it'll be a little bit difficult to explain 
and I think you can probably see what I'm doing better than if I explain to you. When you get to the eyebrows though, it's easier to dab than to just like kind of draw. Hopefully you guys could have seen what I was doing that whole time, but I think I'm going to have you guys this close because I think you guys can really see. So hopefully that wasn't too far away. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the design of the mask. Again, I'm really sorry I had you guys a little far away. I hope that this was a lot easier to see once I zoomed you in. But now I'm going to go ahead and apply some rhinestones. I got these adhesive rhinestones at Michael's. You could even do like glitter or you could even like do color instead of like a whole black mask. But I kind of like the way it looks, just all black. And I just got silver, or like, what do you call these? Like crystal, silver kind of rhinestones. You could even do colorful rhinestones as well. So this one's nice because it has all different sizes. And basically where I have like the dots, that's kind of where I'm gonna put some of the rhinestones. So here I go. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here in the black dot. And these ones are sticky. If you don't have sticky ones, you could always use like a little bit of eyelash glue. Then I'm going to put like three at each of these corners. Okay, all done. I actually kind of want to add another rhinestone right here instead of having just a black circle. Yeah, I think that's a lot cuter. I love it. I'm going to add two just right here. So I use the big ones right here. I use medium here, small here, and I'm going to put medium here. All done. All right, I'm going to pretty much leave my face just like this, no contour or anything. But I am going to go ahead and put on a red lip. So first I'm going to line my lips with this red L'Oreal lip liner pencil. And then I'm going to go in with a L'Oreal red lipstick in the color True Red. And that's pretty much everything. But before I show you my outfit, I wanted to say you can wear any outfit with this. But I personally would wear a dress. I think that they mostly wear dresses, like masquerade party. Um, so I would wear like a fancy dress or something. And you could even like wear a cute hat or even like a feather or something like that. I have this little bird. My mother-in-law and father-in-law got this for me for Christmas a couple years back. I think I showed you guys in one of my videos. And so I'm actually gonna like pin this to my head. So I'm gonna first put my hair down and I'm just gonna have straight hair. I'm gonna use the viewfinder to kind of see what I'm doing. Where should I, how should I position this bird? <laughs> I think I'm going to have it right there just because it looks crazy and I kind of like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to show you my outfit now. Alright, so you guys probably already saw my outfit and everything. It's going to be in the intro, but I just wanted to talk to you about it a little bit. 
So for accessories, I have this cool kind of peacocky bird <laughs> and it kind of matches my dress. I have this choker with a little pearl on it. This is from Forever 21. And then I just have a dress like this. You can wear like a long dress that goes all the way to the floor. This one only goes to above my knee. So if you have any cute like prom dresses or like if you went to a wedding or something like that, time to whip them out if you want to like kind of dress it up a little bit. So that's what I did. I actually wore this to my brother-in-law's wedding last year. And so I thought it would go perfect. Like, look, the bird is like the same color. <laughs> so, and there you go. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know if you guys have any other Halloween requests or any video requests in general. But I'm really looking forward to doing like a few more tutorials at least for Halloween. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And share it with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!